All right, so now we're going to learn how to restrict a domain to make a function have an inverse. Okay, so we're going to make it have an inverse. So I want to restrict its domain. In other words, I want to get rid of part of the function that's a duplicate. And a parabola is a really nice one to practice with because we all know that it has a line of symmetry, which I'm going to sketch right here, right through the vertex, right? So if I didn't have, let's throw away this piece here, if I didn't have that piece and I only had this piece right here, would that have an inverse? Well, it certainly passes a vertical line test. Here's our vertical line. And it passes our horizontal line test because I don't have this part of the function to go through because I got rid of that. So if I restrict my domain through the vertex, throw the left-hand side away because we normally keep the positive, um, but you don't have to. You could keep the other one. Um, but if I just keep half of it, then it, this part I kept passes the vertical line and the horizontal line test, and I can make it have an inverse. So let's get rid of those lines. And then let's figure out what the domain and the range is after I restricted it. OK, so it goes through the vertex. And it might be kind of hard to see this equation here. So let me just write it. Vertex form is x minus 1 quantity squared minus 2. So because it's in vertex form, you know the vertex is 1, negative 2. So I restricted the domain. So that means that my domain is good or valid from 1 to infinity. And the range is valid from negative 2 to infinity. So that's my new restricted domain. So now let's find an inverse. So the first step, change it to y equals x minus 1 squared minus 2. Switch your x and your y. Add 2 to both sides. So this is squared, so I need to square root it or take it to the 1 half power. There we go. So I'm going to flip this around at the same time. So I have a y minus 1, and I have this x plus 2 to the 1 half power. And then I have to add 1 to both sides. So let's squeeze this right in the bottom here. Y equals x plus 2 to the 1 half power plus 1. And then, of course, I could write this with my inverse notation. OK, so now we should graph this and uh, see what our domain and our range is for that. So let's pull this up a minute. Let's pull up the calculator. Let's graph this. We can clear these ones that we had on here before. And we are graphing x plus 2 to the 1 half power and then we add 1. And we can just look at the standard window. And there's my graph right there. So it kind of looks like, it, it, we'll verify this, but it kind of looks like the domain starts at negative 2 and goes to infinity. And it kind of looks like the range is at 1 and goes to infinity. Hard to tell. Let's go look at our table. All right, so let's see. All right, so it looks like it's valid at negative 2. So when x is negative 2, I have an output and 1, 0, and all these x values. So it kind of looks like my domain is going to start at uh, negative 2. So let's pick a different color to write the domain. 
of the inverse. So it kind of looked like it started at negative 2 and went to infinity. And let's pull the calculator back up and look at the range again. And it looks like it goes from 1, and then I have my y's get greater and greater, and let's go the other way. Yep, and it's just error that way. Okay, so my range then goes from 1 to infinity. Here's range, 1 to infinity. Good, and we found that by graphing. Now I want you to look at something really, really cool here. So look at the domain of the function and look at the range of the inverse and then look at the range of the function and the domain of the inverse. Do they look like they're switched? Absolutely. So they, the domain, domain and range switch. This is another great check. So um, when you're doing a restricted domain and you find the inverse, the domain and range of the function switch over here to be the values for the domain and the range of the inverse. So that's how we do a restricted domain function. That's the end of this lesson.